emergency maneuvers. This is going to happen to you at some point. Things always happen as a drone pilot. You need to be ready for them. And putting some thought into this up front is a good way to operate. So let's talk about emergency maneuvers. What could cause them? What do you do? Uh, things to know um, before you start flying your drone is how to get it out of GPS mode. All right. So you want to be able to have complete control of your drone um, for many reasons. But, you know, there's a switch on your drone at some point where you can switch it to Addy mode and uh, have con complete control of it. And it's sometimes the drone may be relying on the GPS to take it where you don't want it to go. So you want to get it out of there uh, and just have it be controlled by the controller and you and that's it. So uh, learn that. Figure that out. Each drone is different. So uh, oftentimes it's just a switch on the controller. And, um, you know, you can you can find that pretty easily and, and figure that out. But that's, you know, know that for each of your drones. You want to know how to do an emergency tornado descent. We'll go over that in a second. And then, and then think about where to dump your drone. All right. So these are the things we kind of want to be thinking about. So why do you want to get your drone out of GPS mode? Sometimes you may be faced with a flyaway situation. The drone is trying to fly home, but home is where you were yesterday in Connecticut or <laughs> 100 miles away because your GPS didn't reset your home point and you took off too quickly and you didn't think about it. And now uh, it's trying to go home because the battery's dead and uh, off it goes. And you know it's heading for the horizon. It's going to keep going trying to get home, uh, won't get there, um, and you're going to lose it. So particularly a problem if you are heading towards an airport or a city or, you know, a school or something like, you just, you got to deal with it, right? So this is what you would call a flyaway. You want to turn that GPS off, and now the drone is simply going to listen to your controller, and that's that's what you want. So, um you know, it could be it could be a battery issue. It could be um, didn't have a G good GPS lock, but whatever it is, uh, you want to you want to get it out of there. So, figure that out, right? This is often a, 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 a just a switch on the drone or on your on your controller, um, and flip it to Addy mode typically, and then um, it'll come back, or it'll it'll start to listen to your controller. It'll it'll stop the the GPS directions. So do this with your functioning drone. Practice this, right? When your drone's off, so you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take it out of GPS mode. I'm gonna lose my ability to hit the return to home button. Uh, so know where it is and uh, fly it back manually, right? Practice that. Practice like, oh, I gotta flip that switch for for whatever reason. I gotta get this thing back. So, um, you know. It's, 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 like I said, find your find your drone. It's not as easy on some drones as others. The Mavic Pro, for example, uh, but you can you can get it out of there. At some point, you may want to do an emergency tornado descent. What am I talking about? This is the best way to get your drone down to the ground as fast as possible. Again, practice this with a functioning drone. You don't want to be doing this for the first time uh, when something's gone wrong. So you know this is something you can practice. Um, why would you do this? Uh, examples, you see uh, all of a sudden you hear a helicopter getting very loud very quickly coming right at you. You, you just need to get that thing down immediately. Or you spot a, a red-tailed hawk or an eagle or something coming after your drone and, uh, you know, zooming in for the kill because you flew next to its nest and it's a mother and it's she's guarding her, her babies and, you know... You, it, it, she's she's coming in. You got to get that thing on the ground, or you got a, a a dog coming at you, barking, and and you you know you you want to get the drone down so you can deal with the dog without you know having to worry about the drone at the same time, or that you know something happens with the drone, a prop comes off, uh, you know battery level drops dramatically. There's some malfunction with your drone, and uh, you know you gotta you, you know you, it's it's something's not right. You're like, oh my God, something's not right. I got to get this thing down. Or, you know, a hailstorm's coming or a windstorm or something You're like, oh my God, all of a sudden it's starting to rain. I got to get this thing on the ground at ASAP. So how do we do this? Take your left stick, put it all the way, all the way down. And, um, that will drop the drone down straight. And then with your right stick, push that thing all the way up and to the right. What's that going to do? If you push the drone st right stick up, it's going to fly forward. If you do it to the right, it's going to 
going to go forward. So this is going to, but the left stick is is dropping it. So it's going to go down in a in a circle. You know, pr- when you're first practicing this, you get down to about 30 feet. That's when you kind of level off and you know bring it back to normal. Um, but this thing will be coming down pretty quickly. Um, you know, as you get better and better, you know you can get to a point where you know 10, 15 feet, you could stop that spin and kind of get used to it. You don't want to drop your drone straight down, just straight left stick all the way down because you might get a prop wash effect where the the drone is dropping so fast it, it can't get enough air and it starts to wobble and could can roll and then you, you know you've lost it. So never drop your drone straight down. Make sure it's spinning and and and, and flying a little bit so it's getting fresh air as it as it spins. Uh if you can get it over soft ground, you know, uh if you can find a nice field or a low shrub or something, if possible, may not be possible, but, you know, worth worth trying, you know. Um, and evaluate places to dump your drone. You should have done this in your pre-flight planning. You should have looked it around, but, you know, sometimes you just, you know, it, time is short and, it, and the drone's malfunctioning and you just want to drop that thing. Um, you know, find, think about finding some soft ground. Tall grass is good, soft ground, you know, dirt's better than, pavement obviously or low trees or shrubs ones you know that you could reach up and grab the drone out of the tree if you needed to or better uh just regular grass tall trees if you have to um you know if you have to maybe it'll drop down a little bit or maybe you got to go back with a ladder to get it but it's it's better than dropping it on on a road and causing a car accident obviously uh or even even water if you can dump it in the water you're probably not gonna get your drone back um but, you know, it will get wet. But um, if it means, uh, you know, that or a, a car car accident, put it in the water. So um, that's what we got.